In today's video, I'm gonna show you a very simple exercise that can instantly increase your overhead strength and stability. Get up and get down, get up and get down. Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the YouTube channel. If you're going to do any overhead lifts, whether that's a snatch, a jerk, a, a kettlebell press, anything like that, and you feel unstable, I want you to try this simple test. So Ed, come on over here and I want you to jump on the bed face down. Now you're gonna have to grab a friend to do this exercise and you wanna be laying down so we don't have any compensations with any other part of your body. You're gonna have that friend take your arm into that ideal overhead position hand is going, or arm is gonna be about the back side of the head. Again, this is gonna be mimicking that position that we're in, jerking the barbell overhead, snatching, kettlebell, anything overhead, this is that position. Now, I'm gonna ask him if he can hold his arm up here while I remove my hand. Does there uh, appear to be any compensation? So can you hold it here? Very good. So if you get up here and I take that hand away and you see the body jerk, trap, uh, upper trap kick on too much, we're already knowing that there's gonna be some compensations and weakness right there. But if you can hold it there, now don't let me push down. Let's see what his strength and stability is. I'm gonna use two fingers to push his hand down. Hold it here, hold, hold, hold. You can see how easy it is for me to push his arm down. What that shows is that he has some weakness in his mid and low back muscles right here, his mid trap and his low trap that are not optimally stabilizing, stabilizing his arm overhead. So here's a simple exercise I'm going to give him and we're gonna see how that can instantly change his strength and stability levels going overhead. So come on over here. All you're going to need is a small plate. Does not need to be very heavy. If you're starting this for the first time, I recommend probably using about 10 pounds or a five kilo plate. Today, because Ed is a bigger, stronger guy, we're gonna use a 10 kilo plate from Maleko. So, um, Ed, I want you to punch this weight against the wall, hand just above the center. Now, the idea behind punching the weight into the wall is that he has to actively contract all the muscles in the shoulder and in this back side of the body in order to keep this plate from falling down. If he doesn't, the plate just drops to the ground. So this is a closed chain exercise, meaning it's weight bearing. So we're going to be creating stability in this entire area a little bit differently than if it's open chain. So if maybe you're just holding a barbell, dumbbell or kettlebell. So what he's going to do is actively punch the weight against the wall. Elbows completely locked out. Don't let this weight fall. I want you now to reach your hips back. So hinge your hips, punch against the wall, punch, punch, punch. And right here, what he's doing is engaging all these muscles on the backside, mid trap, low trap, hinging his hips back, not letting that plate fall. So he's constantly engaging into the plate right here. What this is doing is not strengthening his body, but giving him access to the strength that he already has. So we're neurologically priming the body to unleash a little bit more strength and stability into this overhead position. So it's a very simple primer exercise that you can do before you do any overhead lifting. So he's just gonna do a couple, maybe even hold in this position. Think about driving that shoulder blade upwards, punching against the wall. So that's maybe about four or five, let's do one more. Keep that elbow locked out, reach those hips back, push back, but don't let that weight fall. Very good, come back up. Okay, so it's about four or five of them. Always test and retest, especially with these primer exercises. Let's see what we find. So same thing, I'm gonna move his arm into that overhead position. Okay, hold it right here, nice and strong. Don't let me push it down. Two fingers again, push, hold, 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 hold. Look at that, a lot stronger in that position. So again, that shows that he now has access to that strength and stability better overhead. So again, guys, the idea is that when we're lifting overhead, we need mobility first and then stability second. So we wanna have control over the positions that our body now has access to. That exercise right there that I first learned from Ben Lustig, uh, physio down in Australia, is a great exercise at priming that overhead strength and stability so that you can now safely move that barbell, kettlebell, or dumbbell over your head, have access to that area, and safely lift and have fun in your performance. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
If you liked that exercise, you found it helpful, share this video with your friends and family so that they can try it out and see what they think. Um, again, if you're enjoying the content that I'm making, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or any videos that you'd like me to make in the future, let me know in the comments section below because Squat University is here to help you move better in the gym and in life, decrease your body's aches and pains and help you reach your true athletic potential. So again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And until next time, guys, happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos? These people have lost.